Welcome back to Crusader Kings 2 Game of Thrones mod. We are back as Prince Brendan Rivers, Blood Raven, a legitimized bastard. Um, last time we left off, we are at war for the Great Fire, Great Fire, <laughs> Black Fire Rebellion. Um, we're actually up just a tad in battles, and we're losing out on occupation. Um, they actually have Dawson Keep right here. Uh, Hayford and something else. I don't know where. Uh, we have to be careful that they don't siege down. See, this is the thing I hate about having Dragonstone. We don't have it, but he does. But it gives you a decent amount of war score because it's a high lordship uh, title and it's hard to defend because of the fact that it, uh, all they'll keep doing it. You can pee if you had enough men. You could literally probably put, you know, like 5,000 men there. As long as they're not going to land with like 15,000, you should be able to defend it. Because every time they get off a boat, their morale is half. So, it's easy to defend, but if you don't have the manpower to keep somebody there, you have to keep constantly going back there, then you're in the predicament they are getting off the boat and having half morale. But that's whatever. Um, we are siding with, of course, the Targaryen side. The crown. We are master of whispers for the crown. We also are commander. I kind of hope that he doesn't put me out in a battle and get me killed because he's actually, I didn't realize uh, last time Makar was killed in personal combat against some fucking really good guy, <laughs> Sir Gareth the Grey. He's not friends with David, but I guess he's one of his commanders that they start out with. He has a little uh, nickname. Uh, we have a lot of siblings. I also want to put all these as special interests. Just because they are our siblings. Uh, our actual full full siblings I did already. The two girls. Uh, Maya and what's the other one's name? Gwyneth. Uh, Gwyneth. Gwyneth. I guess that's how you say it. Um, we also have Bellinora. Whereas they're all so close, you can't. They're Balerion. <laughs> um, where is the Better Steel, of course, our hated rival? We have Daenerys, who is the Lady Paramount of Dorne, our two sisters, and that's about it. Um, let's see. Sierra, we should already, but she's in our court. Um, let's see if we can get. Alright, nice. We got the non-aggression pack now with him, so he doesn't try to do anything. For some reason, I was looking around. Uh, let me make sure I have everybody special interests that I should have. I think I got all the Lord Paramounts. I was looking up here to do this one. For some reason, we can have a non-aggression with him. I don't know why. I kind of try. I tried to look around to see if there was any... Uh, let's look at the, uh, the tree here. Is there any of these that are married to Blackwoods? There we go, that's why. Okay. That's probably why, I would assume. That's his sister. Um, I don't think any of the other ones are. Let's see. It's his mom, Blackfire. I mean, uh, Blackwood, no. So I assume that's why. It's his sister. Uh, is married to a Blackwood. I don't know who the Blackwood actually is. Oh, he's actually the Lord, so he needs our uncle. So that's cool. He's our mother. There's our mom. We'll put her as a uh, special interest. We can't invite her to court because she's married to the Lord of Maidenpool. We probably could with him too. Yep. All right. He doesn't like us that much, but if we gave him a gift, he probably would. How much does he want? We'll wait for now, but that'd be good to have. All right. So, yeah. We'll go on with him just for the hell of it. He's staying out of the war right now. So, he hasn't really any help, but in case we need him for something later, it's always a good uh, ally to have. Alright, so we only have 1,318 bed uh, at full. We could have 1,579. We got lucky, and um, the Reach, I think it was, came and fought the battle of the people that were sieging this down. So, I was able to raise my levy and get them out, because if they would have taken that, we would our levy would have been completely gone. But now, we only have 765 men. 
as a garrison there, which is going to be terrible. I did do the console command to get enough money to uh, make this into a, a castle. That way we have an actual vassal. We don't have any vassals. Uh, we're going to go over here to this area of uh, Cornfield. They're actually fighting against the crown and try to siege out some stuff over there. Um, there are a lot of lords in the west that are actually going against the crown. So we have to be careful. Um, let me see. The Western lands, he doesn't have any men really. Um, the river lands have an okay amount of people that they actually are defending against them. But for some reason, Seaguard isn't under them. I don't know why, but they are fighting on our side. The Brackens are, of course, on the other side. Bitter Steel's mom's house. Uh, most of the veil, for the most part, is on uh, the crown side, except for a couple of them that stayed out of it. But Darkmoor and Galltown, actually Galltown's with us. So is Runestone and uh, Grey Glen, and then Coldwater is too. That's weird. Why aren't they just underneath? Uh, I don't know why they just wouldn't be underneath the veil. Oh, they are. Okay. Well, cold water isn't. Whatever. Um, oh, they're underneath Runestone. Okay. Still, I don't understand why Runestone isn't under the veil if they're fighting for the same side. Whatever. Um, Crownlands, everybody seems to be on our side except North Cracklaw. Um, and then all of the Stormlands are on our side. Actually, what? I think they dropped out. Did this guy... No, I guess they were never in it. I could have swore they were in it. I guess not. For some reason, he doesn't want to fight. So, that would be a big help if they could uh, join the fight on the crown side. If they were to join the other side, oh my god, it would be terrible. The Reach has 31,000, even though they got a good amount of people that are not fighting with them. The North has completely stayed out of it, and so has the Iron Isles. If they could get the Stormlands, that would be great. <clears throat> Alright, so we'll go ahead and unpause. We'll have them move uh, over there. i got to be careful I don't run into anybody with big numbers. I had a rifle ruler over to Seven Kingdoms, and King's Landing is an int integral part of that title. It should be mine. So now we get strong claims on all this other stuff. Let me see. Wow. So we get strong claim on the Iron Throne. King's Landing and the High Lordship and Lordship. Uh, they're not inheritable, though. That doesn't piss him off, so it's good. I mean, they can uh, put us in a faction, but I don't see anybody doing that. So it says uh, Prince Brendan for the Iron Throne. There's also one for Valerion and Bitter Steel and Ares. So I don't see anybody else doing that. <laughs> Uh, we could be crown loyalists. I think we might. I just don't want to get drawn into some other war. That ends up happening during this war. So, we should have tried to take back that. But these guys, I think, are coming after us. Just way too many red men around here. Alright, they got enough men there. So, they might have pulled that off. Nice. They were losing. Oh, uh, can we get an alliance? Whoops. Nice. He's going to end that war with the Skagosi Rebellion. Uh, uh, he accepted his non-aggression. I think we're going to go with the alliance with him. See, but if he fights against the, the crown, though, we'll wait. All right, Lord Arthur of Skagos accepted. Lord Paramount John of one Eye's peace offer. So we're making our way this way. we got to be very careful. We don't run into a shitload of men. Because we'll be completely pulverized all right they're coming this way they're gonna be a haystack on the 30th we'll get here on the 21st so we should be able to get out in time before they even get close surprise they're not gonna go siege that um anybody else joined no all right we're at 17 now that one battle gave us a lot 26 wow yeah that was a really big battle they were we were losing until all those veil men came in to save the day. 
there's 10,000, uh, there are mostly Trident, I guess. 10,000 Trident and uh, 2,600 Runestone men are going to Farron Cross. So I hope they need to start sieging the ship back. There needs to be a good amount of men that stay back to make sure they don't siege that down. How many men does he have under him now? Whoa, he lost 10,000 of his men already. Jeez. Huh. That's not good. Alright. We could have took those guys out, but... Alright, he's going to get to Appleton on the 10th. We're going to get to Blackheart. I mean, not Blackheart. Uh, Long Table. Hopefully he doesn't go try to come that way. Oh, we're screwed. Come on. Alright. We should be okay. He'll get there in two days. And we'll be at Smithian. They're going to lay good keep, which is there. Man. Alright. I think we're going to be okay. We got guys with us. Oh no. Some of them are going to Appleton, so they're going the other way. There's only 12 men. <laughs> Some Reachmen. Alright, these guys seem to be following them. They're probably going to pick off these 12 Light Cav. They're probably hired men. It's weird as have 12, 12 Light Cav just by themselves. Oh no. Alright, hopefully no guys pop out the shadows. Or we're screwed. It's the only thing I hate about that. <laughs> Fog of War. Um, he has too, too many men. We could siege down uh, Cornfield. Which is his main holding. So that should give us some decent occupation war score, and then we don't have enough for him. Alright, I think that's where we're going. We're going to Cornfield, pretty sure. Yeah. All right. Hopefully there is not a lot of men around here, because you got to be careful where you go to here, because there's a lot of mountainous area that you have to go around. Like, it's suicide to... Uh, siege in this little valley because you have to only go out you can only come in and out this little way right here it's good if you're if it's your holding defending wise all right we're getting attrition for being out of supplies i guess we're too far away all right um i could actually stick my spy master over here while we see just to make sure nothing pops up on us but we'll Mm, we'll just turn down the speed. That uh, way we have time to react. Hopefully we'll be okay. So you only have the not fog of war on the holdings that are actually bordering them. So if something pops out real quick, we're screwed. I don't think you can even... Uh, Alright, you can go that way. Alright, you can go to all of them. That's good. I just want to make sure we're not stuck. Matter of fact, I'm going to change this guy to the siege leader. So that way we can get it a lot quicker. Alright, there's... Oh man, my thing just got completely wiped out. So I have no garrison left now. <laughs> the High Lordship of Cockles went just took that. We're at 47% though. It must have won another battle. 18% battle of Byford. Which is right... Uh, somewhere right there. I didn't even catch that. They seem to have a lot of men still, though. I mean, there's 20,000 right here beating up on these Florent men. So hopefully that's going to give over 50. All right, 60. Nice. That was 12% right there. Wow. All right, so there's a good 20,000 men here. It looks like we were going to end up winning this. I don't think I've ever played this where uh, the Blackfires haven't won. They start off with a pretty good advantage. I mean, they... The crown has most of the lower paramounts, but the 15,000 men that Damon has, they start out right around here. You can just literally come right to King's Landing, siege it out, and win. Because a lot of times, even if you don't get the uh, king, you'll get a lot of the family members, and they all have percentage to of war score. So it ends up being a lot of war score you get just from getting a bunch of family members. We'll turn to speed. Oops. Turn it up to three. Just so it's not going too slow. Hopefully we'll have time to react. We need to keep an eye out on who's coming this way. There's 20, 000, uh, 30,000 men. Whoo! Right there is over 50,000 men over. Uh, these guys are going to Amberley. 
they're going to Grassyville the 30th, 31st. They're going to make it there before they get out. So there goes another big battle. This might get it up to 70. Let's see. Nice. 72%. All right. They don't have, we, can, we don't have to cap out at 75 due to the fact that we're defending. So we can win this just off battles, which I think might be the case. Because occupation-wise, I mean, they don't have but one holding, which is mine. Oh, we're at 83 now. Wow. What would just happen? Battle at Storydale, wherever the hell that's at. Where is Storydale? I don't know where that's at. Somewhere up here, probably. Star Sept is up here, but I don't think it's the same thing. I don't know. Whatever it was, it got us a lot. Hopefully, we well, just lost a little. Nobody's captured. Payne Hall just rose up in, against King Damon. Or Damon's host. I think they were just staying out of it. Of course, they wait till the last minute. Let me see. The phrase do the same thing. No, they're in their own war. Uh, revolt against the rule of Lord Orland of the Crossing. Alright. So, it looks like we're going to win this, hopefully. Whoa! Alright, they got a little bit more men. We'll, we'll just let it go. We couldn't get out anyways. This is why I didn't want it too quick. The 25th, 25th. That one's 26, 30th, <laughs> uh, 25th, 5th. We get a forest bonus. There's no river crossing. Where is there? No, from Greenfield. We'll see if we can get out. I'm thinking I'm going to need to switch guys now. Switch him out. Army of Gerald of Craig Hall. So let's see who Gerald is. Gerald, Gerald, Gerald. There's Gerald. He's 17 Marshall. He's not that great. Hopefully we fall. Oh, shit. Um, 25th. 25th. You never know. If we get out. At least when we fight those guys. We didn't make it. We're still winning though. Come on. Hold them off man. Oh we got them. Good. Hold it. Good job. So we ended up getting it anyways. Uh, we're going to stop. Because our, mor our morale is terrible. What? How'd they go all the way back up like that? It was damn near depleted. And it built. Oh shit. There goes 2,000 men. Alright. He has no marshal. I mean, no morale. He's gonna stop. Where are they going? They're coming there about the 23rd, so we need to get the hell out. Um, can we go straight through? Yeah. We're not gonna be able to catch them, though. We're at 90, so we'll just go this way. Are they on our side? Yeah. So it takes, what, 21st, the 6th. All right, so we'll go that way. We're getting to land that's on our side, at least. Hold on, what's this got? 2,000, we don't have enough. We're at 90 right now, so that's good. They just want another big battle. 94. Who just died? Ellen Baratheon. Alright. <clears throat> man, I've been sick, man. My throat's killing me. Uh, let's see. They're fighting the crown, right? Well, let's head out that way. Maybe we can cut them off. Get one more battle. I'm kind of glad I switched that one guy out because, uh... He was just a little bit better modifier wise, so. Nice. Mashor Bello at least accepted King Baylor breaks Spears peace offer. For what? Uh, slave raid. 
All right, he's captured Sir Damon Blackfire. Where's all his kids? Unknown location. So are they in hiding? I think the mom's in hiding. Is it an unknown location? Oh, she's with the Golden Company. That's why. All right, so where's Bittersteel at? Did he take off? He still has one daughter. He has Blackfire. I guess he took Blackfire out there. That's kind of stupid, though. He was arrested, so he should have still had Blackfire. Alright. You start with the title of Bransford. Bitter Steel. Receive the new, beautiful, new Blackfire. I guess that's just for further rebellions. Uh, your brother-in-law, Sir Dan Blackfire, has been imprisoned by King Baylor Breakspear. Uh, Lord Lucas the Pander has declared War of Hall independence on Baylor. Alright, so these are all the people he's probably trying to arrest. Uh, Lord Gorman of Cockleswent. That's about it for now, I guess. Um, let's see, is there anything up here we can siege down with these little bit of men? 700. That's 3,000, jeez. Cockleswent has 2,000, 2,000. They got a lot of men. 680. 680. Alright. I think we'll just take our men. How many men does he have? I don't have that many. He has even less. So we'll go up there. There'll probably be a couple more. My lord, Damon Blackfire and his allies defeated his bid to wrest the Iron Throne from the Targaryens in tatters. However, Aegor has managed to lead Damon's family and a band of his supporters to safety across the narrow sea where he has founded a new mercenary company called the golden company and vows to see blackfire on the throne so that's pretty cool i guess it does that just to be able to have future uh rebellions now all the kids are just considered uh in an unknown location so i guess they'll end up being able to uh you know go to war for the for their claim later, I guess. Okay, that's cool. I mean, for that reason, I guess it's okay. Oh shit! Hurry up, man! Ah, I was getting attrition like crazy. Like, how many men did that guy have? I like to back a plot to kill Sir Theodore Bull. That's not Fireball. Where's Fireball at? Quentin, there he is. He's the Golden Company, too. So they're all like in unknown locations, it says. He's wounded. Um, He wants to kill him. Why? Sir Dabos Ironwood. Mm, I don't see any reason to kill him. I'll decline. Let's look at our uh, council. Or the council we're in. Anything else we need to do over here? Nope. Alright. We're we'll just head up here to Heron Hall and help with these rebellions. There's another war. Slave raid on the Iron Throne. Jeez. Who's in these wars? Nobody's in that one. Nobody's in that one. I guess he doesn't need it. Alright. We're we'll chasing these guys down. I think that's all the guys he has. Yeah. I'm going to do a rebellion with 100 men. Alright. He's. That's my, uh, that's where Blood Raven's at right now. He's going to Heron Hall, so we're going to go that way. We'll stop here, though. I just want to see if I can catch him. All right, what's the Trident doing? They're in that sleep. I think it's because that war happened first, whoever joined this. After that one's over, they'd end up uh, just popping into the other one. But we're going to stop right there. Uh, campaign has been foolproof. Well, this campaign has been been proof that Lord Clayton of Hayford is clearly not of proper blood. I wish I would never have meet him again. I wish I'd never meet him again. What? what the hell is that talking about? I don't know. I'm confused. Alright, whatever. <laughs> oh, he handed a king? What? Alright, we'll stay here and siege this. Cockles went. Has just a little bit more men. There's 1,000 uh, Pentoshi. 
or mirror. During a particularly heated argument in the council, Grand Maester Jamie stepped in as you were about to make a fool out of yourself. He was able to argue for your point, not only saving your face, but also winning the argument for you. It is obvious that Jamie's smooth talking was the sole reason for your success, and denying that fact would likely paint you in a bad light. Thank you, I truly uh, owe you in return. Um, yeah, why not? Kind of favorite he hasn't really won anything I mean like he can ask for land so and we don't have land to give anyways um we don't have vassals really so we can't get a uh, vassals raised too long negative opinion uh -oh. oh see that's what happens you come off the boat you get your ass kicked all right 41 percent i hope he doesn't go over to mirror i wonder if he conscripted ships because it just has exactly a hundred ships there. Uh, event spawn, yeah, he conscripted the trade ships. I don't think he has that many. Actually, yeah, he does. Uh, Dragonstone, I think, has like 90 itself. That high lordship. Alright, all these he's losing. Just because they uh, control their holdings. Lord Brendan, after listening to the advice of group, my bannermen led by Lord... Taganaro, bargain of whatever. <laughs> I hereby relinquish my position as Magister of Mir in favor of Lord Master Vergo. Alright, so I guess that was the guy who was at war with. Now, uh, this guy took up the mantle. Whatever. Alright, so we're sieging down his lands. Uh, I'll come down after that. Damn, we don't even have 23 men. He's literally sieging my 12 men out. Bastard. I have to re-siege that. I'm going to come down. Because I can take these two. As long as I stay with a thousand men. Uh, we'll reinforce when we get closer. I think. Um, what's this guy want? Back a plot to kill Sir John Hightower. The heir to the lordship of Old Town. Um, I think that won't be worth it. Due to the fact that he rose up against the crown. His family did. So yes, we will accept that one. We're all about the intrigue. Oh man. Now these guys are here at siege on my shit. My 12 men. Strong 12 men. <laughs> Alright. Uh, the veil is going that way for some reason. Or no, down this way. They just keep running around, I guess, trying to reinforce men. I might take that and then swing around. Come on, dude. Get out of here. You're making me get attrition. I hate when they run like 20,000 men to a, a, a area you're in. Alright, so he beat that one. So now somebody should join into these ones at least. You would think that's what would happen. I have noticed my master at arms, Rob Rain, is a hard worker and that everyone seems to like him. I'm deciding between having him hiding the morale of the warriors or try to recruit more men. Uh, morale or 10% levy size. That doesn't really help me now. Morale. Alright, King Baylord Iron Throne claims he has proof that I have slandered him. He promises to keep this to himself or stay out of all factions. Okay. If that's what you say. Alright. Uh, the war between the great powers of the realm subsided for now. No, they haven't. We're still at war. Alright, let's go ahead and put that back to the way it's supposed to be. Alright. Alright. Lord Brendan, I regret to inform you that I've decided to remove you. What? He took me off his ma- What a dick. Nobody is more suitable than Blood Raven. I can't believe he took me off. For this dude. Yeah, Baylor doesn't like Blood Raven. It's obvious. <laughs> um, he needs to get down there and siege us down. He's lucky I'm loyal to the crown and not him. Uh, whoa! I went underneath. What? Oh, he must have gave it to him, motherfucker. He literally put me underneath the Stormlands, so I can't be... That's why I'm not Master of Whispers anymore. He didn't take me off of that. It was because he put it on here. What a dick. Uh.
What an asshole. What a complete dick. Alright, let's see something. I could declare a war against him and take his shit. I had to get more men, more money. I'm about to tell him to screw himself and just go home. We can deal with her in wars. Since you wanted to give me over to the Stormlands. <laughs> my lord, news from Winterfell. Trial by combat. Lord Micken Flint demanded trial by combat from his captor. Lord Paramount John Stark. Selecting Wendell of Greencliff as his champion. Wendell was slain by his opponent, Lord Waymore Manderly, proving Lord Micken's guilt. As a consequence, Lord Micken was beheaded on the order of Lord Paramount John of the North. Alright, we'll form an alliance with him. Looks like we might need it. <laughs> Looks like things might go uh, another way here. He's sieging my shit again. I kind of want to take some of my prisoner, man. Get some money. Alright, he accepts. We're losing money because we have our levies raised. It's not a lot, but... He just sieged my shit again. Alright, Prince Brendan Bloodraven. I hereby invite you to a feast of Grandview. Your presence of feast would be greatly appreciated. I look forward to your attendance. He doesn't like us. We're going to give him that. And I hope he's not trying to uh, arrest me. He better not. Alright, we're almost done sieging this. After we siege that, we're out of here. I think he's sieging that. We'll knock them out first. Alright. Lord Osford of the Bite accepted. Lord Paramount Donald avails peace offer. Ugh. Inherited the city of King's Landing. Come on, hurry up. One little sliver. Alright, now we'll go knock them out. i probably win the war if we beat these guys. Alright, we have arrived at Grandview where Lord Elton has greeted us warmly to his feast. Bread, salt, and cider have been served as a guest right, and the most delicious aromas are coming from the kitchen. Thank you for having us. Alright. We're almost here. Oh, let me switch this guy. Oh no, that's the guy I want. Alright. Go ahead and take it. Prince Brendan's patience with jokes his jester told about him was remarkable. <laughs> I, a lesser man would surely thrown the jester into the dungeon. I applaud his patience. Nice. So Cher is pregnant. <clears throat> Hopefully we have a little son. A little Blood Raven Jr. Nice. We captured uh, a Lofton. So hopefully we can uh, rant. He don't have any money though. Bastard. He's worth 46 gold because he's the heir. And I'm not turning him over. So if he thinks I am, he's mistaken. I know he's going to try to ask for him. Lord Eldon's feast is over and it's time to begin the long way home. After the food, the entertainment, and the warmth, the real world suddenly feels cold and hostile. Alright, so he's actually in the war. He shouldn't ask for the prisoner, but Baylor could. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and end this here. It's been over 30 minutes, so... We get back, uh, bitch! Currently, I have some high value prisoners. Minus 20. Uh, whatever, man. Can I drop these guys right here? No. Alright, we gotta get home. So, alright, we're gonna end this here. Uh, try to figure out on my off time what I'm gonna do with this character. Now that for some reason we're under the Stormlands. <laughs> Maybe we could try to take the uh, High Lordship of Summerfield away from this guy. Give us a little more power. So, uh, yeah. So, until then, uh, hopefully, Shira will pop out a little Blood Raven Jr. And if you like what I'm doing, hit the thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Later.